What's growing on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you how to lower soil pH naturally for the long term using elemental sulfur. I'm growing a number of blueberry bushes on the east side of my house. Blueberries require a soil pH of 4.5 to 5.5, which is very acidic, and my native soil pH is neutral at pH 7. So I need a way to lower soil pH for the long term to keep these blueberry bushes happy. When it comes to naturally lowering soil pH, there are a lot of myths out there. I've heard of everything from dumping used coffee grounds on your soil, which actually aren't very acidic, to pouring vinegar on your soil, which can have a whole host of negative consequences. And as soon as you get a rain, that's going to wash out the vinegar and your soil pH is just going to go back up. We need a long term solution to this problem. The solution to the problem that I'm going to use are elemental sulfur prills. These have a purity of 99%, so all of the instructions on this video is going to assume that you're going to buy elemental sulfur prills in the 90 to 99% purity range. Sulfur prills take a long time to break down on the order of about three to six months. So when you apply this, it will keep your soil acidified for a long period of time. I apply these twice a year with good results. This is how I'm going to use them. But before I show you how to use them, I suggest you do two things. First, get a soil pH test so you know where your soil stands because once you put this stuff into your soil, it's going to be there for a long period of time. Second, if you want to use a purified natural product like I'm using, I will link to that exact item down in the video description for your convenience. Applications of pure elemental sulfur is one to one and a half pounds per 100 square feet to lower soil pH by one point. Because I'm applying this to individual plants, I'm assuming that each plant requires four square feet of acidification. I'm going to assume the low end concentration of one pound per 100 square feet to be conservative because you can always add more sulfur, but you can't remove what you put in. That means each four square foot plant needs 1 25th of a pound or 18 grams. Because I'm trying to reduce my soil pH from seven to five, I need to double that for 36 grams total. So each blueberry bush will require 36 grams of sulfur evenly spread around the root area. And now we need to figure out exactly how much that is. So I'm going to use this one tablespoon measure right here. And wow, one tablespoon is 17 grams. So two tablespoons is 34 grams and I need 36. So basically I need almost exactly two tablespoons, maybe just a little bit of a rounded tablespoon to get me a few extra prills. So that makes things really easy. I pulled back the mulch layer around my blueberry bushes and you can see this beautiful fungal layer that was forming the mycorrhizal association between the rotting mulch and the soil level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a slightly rounded two tablespoons and sprinkle them evenly in a circle around the blueberry plant and then I'm going to gently work it into that top one inch of soil. Now that the sulfur has been added to the soil and mixed into the top inch, I'm then going to remulch everything. And this right here are a few fresh bags of pine bark nuggets. Pine bark is going to be some of the best mulch that you can use around blueberry plants because fresh pine bark nuggets will decompose and be mildly acidic. So we're going to pull all of this fresh mulch around the areas that we just applied the sulfur and then we'll generously water in the area to assist in the breakdown of the sulfur. It's important that you keep the area relatively moist for several weeks in order to assist in the breakdown. When using sulfur, you must understand that the soil temperatures need to be fairly warm in order for it to break down properly. You can't use it when the soil is freezing cold, otherwise it will not break down properly. So for me here in coastal North Carolina, I generally use the sulfur in very early fall when the soil temperatures are still warm, but the the intense heat of the summer is gone, but we're still going to have warm soil for at least the next two to three months to assist in the breakdown. Then I will have another application in March when the soil warms back up again and we're done getting our hard freezes for the year. So depending on where you live, you may need to massage those dates a little bit. It's very important that you don't apply it when the soil is too cold and it's going to be cold for a very long period of time or it will not work properly. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.